in Oklahoma, one in two men and one in three women will have cancer in their lifetime. Across states, we are in the top 10 for cancer deaths. Cancer is taking a toll on our state, it's taking a toll on our families. And unfortunately, still 35% of patients who get a cancer diagnosis will ultimately succumb to their disease. So it's a major area of healthcare burden for the state of Oklahoma, and TSET and the Stevenson Cancer Center have partnered to try to address that problem. So TSET has been funding Stevenson Cancer Center for nearly a decade now, and it's just been in the last few years that they have secured the prestigious National Cancer Institute designation. That's a very prestigious designation. There's only 71 institutions in the entire country that carry that designation. And indeed, prior to last year when we got our designation, there were still 15 states that have not have an NCI designated cancer center. Well, I'm happy to say because of support like we get from TSET, that number is now down to 14 because Oklahoma now has an NCI designated cancer center. And what that means for our state is improved outcomes for patients, Patients can have treatment close to home, but it's also bringing in new research and treatment that are providing hope to Oklahomans and folks from other states that may have gotten to a point in their cancer journey where there were not a lot of answers left. So in phase one, most of our trials, patients don't have any other options. So these are patients who have still a good performance status. They're still functional. They still feel good. They still want to treat. They want to try something, but their doctor has said, we have nothing more to offer you. And so they send us those patients and say, try a trial. We offer clinical trials that are not um, available at other cancer centers here in the state. Phase one trials put patients under a microscope of care. They have rigorous attention to every single change in their status. And that's what makes a phase one trial different. Phase one clinical trials are innovation. They bring outside researchers to this state, they bring outside dollars to this state, and they provide people alternative therapies when all else has failed. Without TSET, we wouldn't have our phase one program, and even my title is Associate Director of the TSET phase one program. And so it's very linked together, and we are very grateful to have that partnership. To me, having an active phase one center means this. Nobody in the state of Oklahoma has to leave this state have access to the highest quality, cutting edge cancer care available. I've been to MD Anderson and Integris, but Stevenson was the one I eventually chose because I felt like they knew what they was doing. They're real generous people and they just treat me good. And I know if I had the like go to Houston or somewhere, it wouldn't be the same care. It's more of an individual treatment. They, they treat their patients on a one-on-one -on -one basis. When Monty came to me a year ago, he had no options. He had tried all the standard care options. His doctor said, unfortunately, I'm nothing for you. And so his doctor said, you know, go and see if Stevenson has some trials for you. So he came to me. And at that time we had a dual immunotherapy trial. And so I said, let's try it. And he said, I have no other options, let's try. Immunotherapy at all was not approved in his setting. And so we put him on this trial and um, the first scan, like he was responding. The disease was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and Monty was feeling better and better. And, and so it's been a success story. He's back to working and really feeling great. So it's, it's really been a great thing. Dr. Ulihan has been wonderful. And instead of waiting to tell us test results, she'll get them and then she'll call us up on the phone and say, oh, it's good, it's really good this week. This is what research is about. It's, we see these extraordinary responses in patients and we can't explain why does one patient respond so well and one another one doesn't. Before we had a phase one center, before we had partners like TSET investing, our citizens had to make the terrible choice of leaving the state to try to access high quality care or not having access to that care at all. So by having the phase one center right here in Oklahoma, we can keep families together. Patients need their family. They need their support structure. 
and they can do it knowing that they're having the best possible care available anywhere. And indeed, I'm very proud of the fact that our phase one center has consistently ranked in the top 10 nationally as far as phase one centers for patient accrual. It has been very important for Stevenson to get the NCI designation. Uh, we see a big difference in the referral pattern and also patients with self-referrals. All of a sudden they're seeing on the TV, they're seeing NCI designation and they think to themselves, I don't have to go all the way to MD Anderson. I actually have an NCI designated center right here in Oklahoma. Patients Prior to having this type of location and care and level of care, they were having to go out of state oftentimes, traveling, which creates um, financial toxicity. Um, it's a burden to family caregivers, and patients should have the opportunity and the right to get their cancer treatment close to home, where they can have follow up in emergent situations where they have their physician that's a phone call away. When Monty received the diagnosis in 2012, our children were, you know, one was a senior in high school and one was in, in grade school. So, you know, we were raising children and we needed to be at home, but he also needed to seek treatment. So it was great for us. We really never missed any of our children's events because of having a facility right here in Oklahoma. So success in a phase one clinical trial is really that the patient is able to live their life, right? To come back to what they want to do with their life, have quality of life. For some patients, that's traveling. For some patients like Monty, he wanted to go back to work. That was his main thing. And he wanted to travel, he's traveling with his wife. You know, to have quality of life, just to extend life, it's not the purpose, it's the quality of life with the time you have left. Through a nearly $400 million investment over 12 years, we transformed cancer care in the state of Oklahoma. In 2006, the Stevenson Cancer Center truly was a vision. We had 1.5 employees. We had a budget of under $500,000. This year, we have over 1,000 employees. Our budget is over $150 million. We would not be an NCI designated cancer center in Oklahoma we would not have one of the top phase one treatment centers in the entire nation if it weren't for the support of TSET. And not just past support, but ongoing support. TSET funding has been instrumental, and I will say has been the primary instrument for us to accomplish those goals.